Hi again. So we have reached the Dijkstra algorithm. So Dijkstra is a very well-known algorithm uh, for short paths. So and here we will not be using a regular queue because in Dijkstra we usually uh, we always pick the closest vertex uh, to the source. So in order to do that, we will use a priority queue, so the one that we have implemented earlier. So and we will see uh, in a while how we will do uh, the implementation. So in the extra, we cannot have a negative weight, so it, 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 do, it doesn't deal with a uh, negative weight. And instead of the ordinary queue, we use priority queue to put distances and priorities. So we'll add the the vertex number and the distance of uh, this number and it will be ordered by uh, distance so and we will update the distance as we have done in uh, Belmont fold so let's see and move to the animation so for the animation I'm using the same example in the question so we have this third graph with a positive uh, weight and this is the AJCC matrix we'll be using priority queue and two arrays one for the distance and one for the path and let's uh, so at the beginning uh, we will put in distance uh, minus one and let's uh, say that we will start from a vertex A which is uh, of index zero so we'll so the distance would be equal to uh, 0 and we will place in the priority queue the vertex 0 and its weight which is equal uh, to uh, 0 then we will do the BFS so we will be looping over the priority queue so we will take the front element which is 0 0 and let's uh, uh, check its uh, uh, neighboring vertices so they are B and C so the distance to B uh, we check and the distance is equal to minus 1 so I need to find the distance so it's equal to distance to A plus 4 so it will be it will be equal to 4 so and the path would come from A which is 0 so and I will in Q in the priority queue the vertex number 1 and its distance which is equal to 4 then I will move to C C would be equal uh, the distance would be equal to 1 and the pass would be from 0 and, and it will enqueue the element to 1 in the priority queue so pay attention that it will come in front of the 1 4 since the distance is equal to 1 then I will move to, to one element in the queue which is C so I will update B so when I update B I need to update also the priority queue the elements in the priority queue so you should pay attention because while coding so we have encountered if the element is in new, so the distance is equal to minus one, I'll update the distance, update the path. However, if I need to update the, the, the value and the distance, I need to update the priority in the queue. Now in C, I have B and D, so the distance to B, now it's equal to distance to C, which is one plus two, three. So I have updated the distance in B and the path and updated the priority Q. As for D, the distance is equal the distance to C plus D, which is equal one plus four, which is equal to five. And I'll update the path and enqueue the element in the priority Q. So C now has finished. I will take one element from the priority Q, which is B, and I will see it as adjacent vertices, which is equal to E. So distance to E is equal distance to B plus uh, 4, so it would be equal to 7, and the pass it comes from B, which is vertex number uh, 1. So B finished, then I will loop over the priority queue, I will take the element number 3, which is uh, D, D it has just one uh, vertex, uh, adjacent vertex, which is E. So the distance to D is equal to 5 plus 4, 9, 9 is very uh, big in front of 7, so I will change nothing, I will enqueue nothing, then I will move to one element from the queue, which is E, so e, it doesn't have any adjacent vertices, and we have finished. So, at the end, we will have the uh, the, 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 the extra uh, shortest path tree, so uh, this is it, so in the distance table, we have the distance directly, all the distances between the starting vertex till all the nodes, and in the path, we know from where we can reach this uh, vertex. So, let's move to the implementation. So for the implementation, we'll be using a priority queue. So you can find in the description below uh, the link for the implementation of priority queue. And we'll have the uh, normal implementation of an adjacency uh, graph. So uh, I have capped also the reading of an adjacency matrix. So we are reading the vertices, the edges, and their weights. And we have the extra that starts from, that, that, that takes a pointer to a graph and a starting uh, vertex. So we need a queue and to uh, so it's priority queue here and we need two uh, arrays which are distance and distance and a path and of course we need some variables for the traversal of the uh, adjacency vertex so and to calculate the distance so let's first create the queue so queue equal create queue 
so I don't like this online compiler because it doesn't help in, in uh, correcting so pass would be equal to int star uh, malloc the number of uh, vertices multiple size of int so the same is for the distance and then we need to uh, 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 initialize the uh, distance uh, table so we place uh, zeros in all the uh, cells not zeros minus one distance to i equal to minus uh, one so and then let's say that I will in Q so capital Q in the queue the source and with the uh, 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 weight equal to zero and its distance would be equal to uh, zero then I will loop over uh, the queue so as long as there's a front element in the queue so I place it in V I will dequeue the queue and then I will look over its adjacent uh, vertices so let's use W here W W less than the number of vertices W plus plus so here we have uh, so we check if uh, uh, there's a vertex so edge I think it's capital VW is different than uh, zero so if there's uh, an edge I will check the distance so distance would be equal distance of the v plus the adjacency the adjacent vertex uh, weight and then i will check so if the newly node distance so distance of w is equal to uh, minus one so it's never been encountered before i will directly in q in q in the q the element which is the element which is w and its weight which is equal to distance i will update also its distance so distance of w would be equal to distance and i will place in the pass so pass of w it should pass from v so and however l so if the distance is not equal to minus one uh, i uh, i should check if i need to update the distance so if distance the newly calculated distance is less than the distance of w so it means that i have already uh, uh, treated this element so I need also to update the distance and to not in queue but to update the priority so I'll go up and copy the uh, just the word so I will update the priorities of W and place it as distance so this is the the, the, the simple code I just now I need to loop so for V equal to zero so let me copy this from here let's call it I it's the same and say printf percentage d should pass uh, should be reached from percentage d of total weight percentage d backslash n so and here we have i uh, we have pass of i and we have the distance of i so let me place a couple of backslash and before and let's run to see if we have some errors so 03157 so it's 03157 so it's it's uh, it's correct so let me uh, recheck the code so uh, in the extra we have a queue uh, priority queue not a simple queue we have two arrays distance and pass so at first we have place and distance minus one you can place minus infinite depends on on uh, how you took the algorithm and we have enqueued the source uh, with the weight equal to zero its distance equal to zero and we looped we've done bfs so we looped over the priority queue we take uh, we took the first element we have looped over its adjacent vertices so if there's an adjacent vertex i have calculated the distance if its adjacent vertex is never been encountered it means that its distance equal to minus one i have updated its distance its pass and enqueued the element in the priority queue however if while I'm traversing the graph and have calculated a distance which is less than the 
uh, all the distance of this uh, vertex, I would update its distance and in the priority queue, I would update its priority. So this is uh, uh, the solution of uh, the extra algorithm. So if you have any questions, do not hesitate to drop me a message and I will try to answer you back. And do not forget to subscribe to my channel and to hit the bell icon to receive all the notification. And again, thanks for watching.